I recently started to keep track of the sodium in my diet and sodium is in everything. To keep track of my sodium, I had to log it away on the individual things that I ate, which after you know 10 times a day becomes very tedious and boring and I wanted a fast, efficient way to do it and I decided to make a shortcut in the Apple ecosystem for it, you know, an iPhone shortcut. Pretty easy. So let me give you an example. I have a Greek yogurt here. This Greek yogurt has 55 milligrams of sodium. I already have my sodium log shortcut in my little widget here. Click that. 55 milligrams Greek yogurt. And just like that, one click, I just had to talk to my phone and it entered it into my sodium log. And you can apply this to calories, shopping lists, all sorts of things. All right, so I'm gonna put this back. Let me show you exactly how I did it in my computer. All right, let's start from scratch. Open the notes application and create a new note. Make the title of the note unique. In this case, I'm going to put shortcuts. All right, we can close that and let's open up the shortcuts application. Let's resize it to fit my recording area, all right. In the, in the search bar, you are going to type in find note and drag find notes into the work area. Yes, we are going to add a filter. Body contains shortcuts. It says shortcuts in my case, but in your case, put whatever your unique note is titled. I'm going to set a limit of the number of notes to find to one. Next, we are going to search for show note. Drag that into the work area. Next, we are going to search for dictate text. Drag that into the work area. And finally, we are going to search for append to note. Drag that into the work area. We are going to right click the note portion of the append to note command and select magic variable and then click on the note above to tell the shortcut what note to reference. Now let's run the program and see if it works. You can dictate whatever you want and it appends to your note. Super easy. The first time you run the shortcut, it's going to ask you for your permission. Click always allow and there you go. So this exact same shortcut will work on your iPhone, the same commands, There you go guys, hopefully this is helpful.